gentlelady from Harford. Thank you, thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, I've been around for a little while around here, and I've kind of, I'm kind of like uh, gray hair. And I think, I think over the years, we've watched that society has changed. The family unit is different. And I, you know, I've been accused of, of uh, implicit bias because I said, you know, the black fathers aren't, aren't as prevalent as they were in the 40s and the 50s. And, and I, 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 the bottom line is that we need to understand that the teachers are dealing with um, a society now that has changed significantly. There's lower rates of marriage, um, there's a lot of underage pregnancy, um, there's a lot of crime, there's a lot of drugs. Um, basically, the society has changed. So the, the place where the children go are the schools. And to deny the teachers the support and the tools to deal with difficult children that are having a lot of problems, not one problem, two problems, but a, a multitude. And also the teachers are expected to, you know, some children may need IEPs and there aren't the resources to do that for the particular school. Come on, this, is a good, this, is, this bill is not a good bill and is taking away some tools for the teachers to manage the classroom. So I hope that people consider voting red. This is not, this is not a good bill. Thank you. Madam, Madam Gentleman Speaker. from Prince George's. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Colleagues, I know that passions are running high right now, but I ask all of you to be respectful in your language do not speak as to the passion and concern of black fathers when you are not one. I speak on behalf of all the black fathers in this room. Tropes should not be used. All right, folks love their children. We should keep the conversation to education. I think that is fair for everyone here. Uh, but let's not speak about things that we do not know and do not experience. Thank you very much. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. 